Hello everyone, welcome back to Bleed Electrical. I am Thruveli Naidu from the Department of Electrical Engineering at St. Vincent Paloti College of Engineering and Technology, Nagpur. In the previous video, I have already spoken on forced field analysis and setting of goals. Now in this video, let us discuss regarding creating action plan and implementing them. So let's get started. With goals in place, the organization is now ready to develop a roadmap to improve energy performance. Once you know every aspect of your organization, you are now ready to create a plan of action. So for that, you need to define technical steps and targets. You need to determine roles and resources. So let's study these two things more in detail. Now let us discuss about defining technical steps and targets. Now in order to define technical steps and targets, you need to evaluate technical assessments and audit results. That means you have to identify the gap in between the current performance and your goals, the target plans. By reviewing the results of the technical assessments and audits, you can evaluate your progress to where and what you have achieved in the organization as far as energy conservation is related. Then determining the technical steps, you have to identify the steps necessary for upgrading and moving facilities from current performance to the desired level of performance. As we have already discussed, once we are done with planning of the goals, we, we are done with the setting of the goals, we now need to walk on the path that has been paved for this set goals. So you have to determine all the technical steps. Then create performance targets for each facility, the departments and operation of the organization to track progress towards achieving these goals. Then set timelines. Now we know that we are supposed to do all these things. But we should be particular about the deadlines. Okay, now in this minimal time, I will achieve this part of my plan. So setting of timelines is also equally important in the technical steps and targets. For actions including regular meetings among key personnel to evaluate progress, completion dates, milestones and expected outcomes. Then establish a well tracking system. You should have a tracking system in order to monitor all the progress and the actions that has been taken place. The system should track and measure energy use and project program activities. Now secondly, determining the roles and resources. Determining the roles and resources is equally important. You have to allocate particular roles and resources. Get agreement from the management and all organizational areas affected by the action plan before finalizing it. Work with energy team to communicate the action plan to all areas of the organization. Now in this, you need to determine the roles separately. So in defining the roles, you have to identify internal roles and you have to identify the external roles. What is identifying this internal role now? Determine who should be involved and what the responsibilities will be depending on the organization and action plan. Okay, and it will entirely depend on the organization and action plan. Okay, so you have to determine who should be involved and what responsibilities they have to be allocated. Then secondly, identify the external roles. Now determine the degree to which consultants, service providers, vendors, product providers will be used. Some organization may choose to outsource entire aspects. Okay, while others may have a specific contractor. It may have a contract with specific vendors. Okay, so you have to identify all these things. You have to establish performance metrics for the contractors also. If you're having contractors, you have to determine what standards will be used to evaluate the bids and incorporate these metrics into agreements with the contractors. We can't be, you know, otherwise we'll be fooled. Okay, you have to set bars to whatever you do okay you have to have this performance matrix for the contractors as well 
as far as energy management is concerned then determining the resources define the resources needs for each project or program in the action plan estimate the cost for each item in terms of both human resources and capital obviously man and money okay you have to define the resources that are required then secure the resources develop the business case for justifying and gaining funding approval for action plan projects and resources needs okay there is a constant r and d research and development as far as energy conservation is concerned and you have to be careful regarding the funding agencies also if possible you try to get the funds to the projects that you want to carry out that would be very beneficial to the firm okay and it will have it will lead you to profit as well then actions now how how to determine the resources the plan of action could be brainstorming with various departments to identify ways they can contribute holding a competition to seek ideas for energy efficiency from across the organization gathering a recommendation from the energy team and other key personnel so all these things can be achieved with the following actions okay these actions are very important as far as determining of resources are concerned now how to implement now we have created all the plan now i am prepared with the plan now how to implement this action plan so for that to reach out your goals you have to have the following things okay first is create a communication plan now you have prepared this action plan you have to convey the information to all the people working in the organization so for that you have to create communication so develop targeted information for key audiences about your energy management program then raise awareness you raise why why are you implementing this plan in the organization how is it going to benefit the organization you have to raise the awareness regarding it then you have to build the capacity you have to tell them how su successful the different organizations have been when they have implemented this particular plan they have to you have to take them into your favor so through training assessing to information transfer of successful practices then procedures and technologies you can expand the capacity of your staff you have to gain their support you have to motivate them now to motivate first of all they need to they need to follow the energy conservation practices for that you need to create some incentives that encourage staff to improve energy performance to achieve the goals then tracking and monitoring using the tracking system developed as a part of action plan to track and monitor progress regularly so all these things can be done once you want to implement the action plan that you have created now let us see them one by one in detail okay so creating the communication plan now good communication does not just happen you have to make it happen okay it requires careful planning and implementation so for that for creating communication plan you need to raise the awareness you need to build the capacity then you to need to train people you need to motivate your staff okay so let us see this one by one raise awareness okay communication strategies and materials for raising awareness of energy use goals and impacts should be tailored to the needs of intended audience so as per the requirement of the audience i am going to prepare the strategies and material for raising the awareness of energy usage okay to raise awareness we have to consider the following okay you can increase general energy awareness most people are unaware about their activities at home their working place which actually impacts the environment okay increasing the awareness will be very effective if you want to gain support for energy initiatives increasing general awareness of energy usage could be done by new employee orientation programs okay for example new employees have joined your organization they don't know the culture of your organization you have to pave them the way in order to achieve this energy efficiency correct you have to provide basic information on organizational and individual energy usage to the new employees also 
you can have poster campaigns okay you can develop attractive and informative posters for change rooms the bulletin boards etc hai you na know, we can use this we can discuss energy usage then you can improve the facility energy awareness okay you can you can manage the facility while having a little understanding of energy performance of the facility targeted efforts designed to increase awareness of facility energy like general awareness efforts facility oriented energy awareness can be done then in developing facility energy management awareness programs you have to consider energy data statistics then energy use of equipments then you have to gain the management support also this is not possible you alone doing you alone screaming loud that use the energy properly you can't do it all alone you have to gain the support from the top management also as far as energy management is concerned okay then increasing the awareness of managers can also help you to build support for energy management initiatives so all these things could be achieved now what is what do you mean by building the capacity how to gain the support investing in training and systems to share successful practices helps ensures the success of the action plan by building the overall organizational capacity then many organization have found that informed employees are more likely to contribute their ideas if a employee is not knowing anything about this particular concept what ideas or input that employee will be able to give no he won't be able to contribute much but if they are informed they will be able to contribute more ideas and operate equipment properly and follow procedures helping to guarantee that capital investments in energy improvements will realize their potential okay then how to train okay training is another important aspect because you have to your employee should be efficient they should be perfect in handling the energy properly so training provides an excellent opportunity for gathering employee feedback and evaluations so what training programs could be included first is the operational and procedural training so it provides instruction on new operating methods procedures designed to reduce energy usage then such training is typically targeted towards specific audience such as the facility managers the operations and maintenance staff okay then secondly you can go for administrative training okay it includes the reporting monitoring data collection other administrative efforts then you can have specialized trainings okay not given to everyone it could be given to specific people giving specific instruction on using and maintaining equipment or tools to ensure more efficient operation the knowledge and management information system computer based information system okay you can have training on this because now if you want to track and monitor you cannot do it manually everything has to be computer computer based so for that also your employee should be fond of all these activities that are going on in the organization they should be compatible with the computer systems as well so you have to train them as far as knowledge and management information systems are concerned then lastly you have to motivate them now motivating will will create a sense of ownership inside the employees it will create interest they will take more initiatives okay so you can motivate by internal competition use the tracking sheets the score cards to compare performance of similar facilities okay then recognition highlight and reward the accomplishment of the individuals departments and facilities then financial bonus and prizes could also be given to them as rewards then environmental responsibility use environmental messages to promote a sense of environmental and social responsibility then financial responsibility use the financial messages to promote a sense of fiduciary responsibilities then performance standards so all these things you have to keep in mind when you want to motivate your employees okay so tie employee performance standards to energy goals so this is how you can motivate now tracking and monitoring we have already seen how to create the plan of action then we saw how to implement the plan of action now it's equally important as far as tracking and monitoring system is concerned 
Now, a tracking system is the means by which an energy program's activities are monitored. Okay, the system should be centralized. Okay, maintaining tracking system is very important. So, there has to be periodic review of activities. Okay, critical to meet energy performance goals. So, perform the regular updates for this, conduct periodic reviews for this, identify ne necessary corrective actions. So, that's all for this video. In the upcoming videos, we will see more topics of energy, monitoring and targeting. Thank you. Keep watching.